Hey Soul Family, welcome back to the channel. This is the White Feather Tarot and in today's reading we are doing the second half of the year 2022 predictions. Really looking forward to this reading and to do it as usual we'll be picking out four uh, piles together. So I see one, uh, two, three, Let's shuffle for the fourth. I feel this one. And four. Let's see what we have for this year. So for pile number one, we have Lily of the Valley. For pile number two, we have Cornflower. For pile number three, we have Belladonna. And for pile number four, we have Willow. If you like to pick with crystals, let me add these right now. There we go. Just so you know, I initially had these the other way around and I swapped them because I felt their colors matched their pile more. So uh, let me introduce the crystals to you. For pile number one, we have the Amazonite. And this is what it looks like. For pile number two, we have the Lapis Lazuli. And this is what it looks like. For pile number three, we have, of course, the Tiger's Eye. And this is what it looks like. Yeah, there we go. And for pile number four, we have the beautiful moonstone. And I hope it's picking up um, its um, reflection. Yeah, this is what it looks like. All right, so take a look at which one of these four piles or crystals you're the most drawn to. If you feel drawn to more than just one or all of the piles, trust that there is a message there for you. You'll be surprised that when you're drawn to other piles, that they resonate with you in different ways, that you get more information about your year and um, a different perspective about your real, uh, year. So always trust your in intuition, whether it's calling for one pile, several, or perhaps even all of them. It happens, whatever it is. <clears throat> trust your intuition. Let it guide you freely. This is your magic. This is how you always reach your message that you're supposed to get. And as usual, you'll find the timestamps down in the description box. Click on your times and I'll see you in your readings. Hey Soul family, welcome to the card picking and the shuffling process. Welcome, I always love having your energies around and sharing this time with you. So thank you very much for being there. Let's now start picking our cards. Um, as you can see on the left are the Oracle decks that we will be using for this reading and on the right are the tarot decks that we'll be using. If you're interested at any point in any of the decks that I use, I always leave their names down in the description box. Okay, so now let's pick up your first oracle deck for this reading and shuffle with intention. And the intention that I set for this reading will be for any deck that I use. Okay, so we kindly want to know what are their second half of the year 2022 predictions, please. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, and four. Okay, let's get on to uh, the next deck. Oh, I feel this one. So, one, two, three, and four. Right. Let's now move on to our last Oracle deck. And again, shuffle with, ooh, thanks for the attention. What are their second half of the year 2022 predictions, please? Thank you. So one, two, three, and four. I don't know why these came out. Let's see, maybe these two are for you guys. Uh, watching the preparation pile enthusiasm and flirtatious so nice cards to come out for the second half of the year I would say that the common thing between flirtation and enthusiasm is the high that we get right so it looks like for the people watching the preparation pile the second half of year 2022 looks like it's going to be full of fun, enthusiasm. You may be doing something that you're so excited about. Some of you may even be meeting someone that they're excited about. So it's definitely a memorable time of your life. The second half of 2022. 2022 so far has had pretty positive and strong energies uh, during the tarot readings for you guys and I do see that the second half of 2022 will be full of excitement, enthusiasm about one or many things in your life. I, uh, it's a time where you feel revived and you're stable and you feel like you're doing something that you like. All right, beautiful energies. What beautiful cards to receive, especially with the Sun and Venus, both in Sagittarius. So adventure, fun, exploration, that kind of energy in your second half. Uh, can't complain, right? Beautiful energy. <laughs> All right. Let's now move to your tarot decks for this reading. We'll be picking out your first deck and we will be taking two cards from each of the tarot decks. So what are their second half predictions for the year 2022, of course. Okay, so these obviously wanted to come out. So two, are these two? Yeah. One and two and two. Okay, let's move on to our next tarot deck, two of cups. Some of you uh, could be meeting someone special this second half with all this flirtation and second cup. Especially if you're watching uh, this preparation pile. Obviously, there's a message there for you. So, two, two, oh, and two. tarot deck. I'm hearing an airplane. Some of you could be traveling as well. So two. looks like it's really exciting times. Yeah, we said Sagittarius traveling, fun, exploration, beautiful times for you guys this second half. Like I said, especially if you're watching the preparation pile, we can really see the energy uh, during the preparation. It's so beautiful, so exciting. All right. Empress, yeah. It's kind of like a birth of a new life for you. A life full of flowers, f um, beauty, refreshment, romance for a lot of you. 
I'm totally looking forward <laughs> to this reading now. Looks like it's going to be a wonderful one. Okay. How exciting is that? So one, two, three, and four. Okay, if you hear any sleeping sounds in the background, uh, I just want to give you guys a heads up. This is my dog sleeping. <laughs> I always like to keep him with me. So thank you so much for understanding. Okay, so let's take the first pile. I feel like uh, whenever I do a reading, he hears me talking a lot and he realizes that, oh, this looks like it's gonna be a long one. <laughs> and he automatically just uh, sleeps. <laughs> Hold on. Oops. Pile one is ready with the Amazonite. Let me put it here, yeah. Right, pile two. Is also now ready with the Lapis Lazuli. is now also ready with the tiger's eye I swapped them like I told you uh, in the beginning the lapis lazuli went beautifully with the blue flowers and the tiger's eye went beautifully with this belladonna card with the hen, of course. And so I swapped them. They were the other way around to match uh, the energies and the colors of the cards. Okay. Felt like that felt right. It's the way it was meant to be. <laughs> okay. So the last pile is also now ready with the beautiful moonstone all right so our four piles are now ready thank you guys for tuning in i feel like this is always my opportunity to tell you my heartfelt gratitude for having a for having beautiful people like you around i hope you don't get bored <laughs> of me telling you that it's from my heart i feel i always feel the need to express how blessed I am to have beautiful people like you. It blows my mind. Thank you so much for being here. It is the biggest blessing anyone can have to have beautiful people around them. Thank you so much. <laughs> and let's get into your reading. Hi, pile number one. Welcome to your reading you have chosen the beautiful Amazonite as well as the beautiful Lily of the Valley. Always love seeing this card, love the Lily of the Valley. Let's take a look at what your second half of the year 2022 predictions are like, pile number one. Uh, to start off your reading, we will be taking a look at your Oracle cards first. So, ooh, we have TikTok, TikTok, interesting card to come out. I have a lot of feelings already. We see a lot of numbers coming out as well from the clock. Pretty interesting. Very interesting card. Uh, with the air balloon, I feel like time is flying. What is this about? Let's see. So we also have the art of seduction. Ooh, there we go. The art of seduction. I hope you were able to see the first card properly and it wasn't hazy. Yeah, so that's how it looked like, right? Um, you also have pile number one, moon in Capricorn with practicality. Interesting. All right, let's keep them here. 
so that we overall have enough space. How about we also move that <laughs> so we have space? Right. Let's get into our, your tarot cards. Ooh, you have the chariot. Now, isn't this quite um, a contrast? Both speak about time. I know the chariot is, of course, moving forward. It's many things, but with the snail being involved with the chariot, I feel like there's slow movement in contrast to the TikTok card, right? What is this about? Let's see. You also have the Queen of Wands. We have the Eight of Pentacles. The Seed of Thunder is the Page of Swords. You have the Lover's card. Interesting. Something is up here. Let's see. It doesn't necessarily have to be romance at all, but it could be for some of you. You have the Five of Wands. The Four of Pentacles with Humpty Dumpty. And the Six of Swords. This is when Alice was with the Wolf Lady. All right, so what is going on here for the second half of the year, pile number one? So let's get one thing out of the way that is quite clear to me here. The combination of the lover's card, the art of seduction, also the lily of the valley. As you may know, um, legend has it that lily of the valley felt, fell in love with the nightingale and would wait for it to come during its... Um, migration season anyways long story short i do see a, a lot of cards speaking of love so for a lot of you if you're single it looks like TikTok. this is the time where you are now quickly move, transitioning into a, a relationship a loving relationship and while now is the time, I do see that you will be slowly getting into the relationship. Not the slow that would uh, be annoying because this is the chariot at the end of the, way, uh, the day. But it's transitioning naturally and slowly and beautiful. With the Queen of Wands, you are shining. You are attractive. In fact, you seem very unique with this uh, sunflower and the peacock dress here. You seem very beautiful. Uh, bright, unique to the person you are meeting, looking very beautiful, very attractive in all uh, different ways. So yeah, I had to get this out of the way. Um, that is part of the message and I have to deliver it. Right, so let's take a look at the rest of uh, the 2022, the year 2022. Pile number one, we see here with the Humpty Dumpty in the Four of Pentacles, we kind of feel like there is pride before a fall. Take heed. Do not worry. This is an advice here for you. We can see that with the Four of Pentacles, you may, you are advised. This could go two ways. It's up to you, pile number one. Totally up to you. Here, um, you could somehow feel safe financially. And so you could be uh, at, tempted to spend a lot and you are being advised to hold on to what you have and with the Six of Swords to spend carefully, to discern where you're putting your money in. Why? We see the Eight of Pentacles right up top. It looks like to me, pile number one, you are advised and I do feel like you're slowly transitioning into this mindset, whether you've already done that or you're about to get into that. There is this, um, with the five of wands, there is this um, internal struggle of wanting 
to get the things you're seduced by and wanting to perhaps go out with your new lover and spend maybe or go out and get things that you really love and at the same time you know that you should be careful with what you have be careful pile number one you don't want this is pride before a fall at the end of the day with the humpty dumpty in the four of pentacles so you're advised to be careful with with what with what you have what you get this year because i see that it's a critical year when it comes to your work when it comes to your craft when it comes to doing something that you love i see you're being advised to keep it because you may need it at work to expand to to shine to be popular perhaps you're using it in marketing with the queen of wands maybe you're using this money to expand with the page of swords coming as the th seed of thunder i feel like you're advised to plant seeds pile number one different seeds to make your craft work this could be at the top of my head it could be investing in um, marketing investing maybe in a new product investing in another uh, job that you like i'm not sure but i'm seeing the idea of holding on to your money and investing it in the right places so that they grow like plants uh, pile number one you are really advised to do that here uh, in the second half of 2022 overall as much as 2022 is going to be very exciting for you you are advised to take this exciting energy and move along it slowly you know slow and steady wins the race so um, don't let the excitement the fun the new experiences perhaps the influx of finances um uh, i don't want to say trigger you emotionally but put you on a high that you can't control you're being advised to take control and take this beautiful energy and move with it slowly and beautifully this way uh, pile number two sorry apologies pile number one you will avoid being burned uh burned out in the second half of uh 2022 by perhaps being stuck with finances or um wasting time or not doing what needs to get done who knows right you are advised in the second half despite of all this exciting energy to be quite practical a lot again we we're seeing irrigation and planting so it's a time despite I, I keep saying that despite of the exciting exciting energy that you are definitely going to feel in 2022 you are advised to take this period as hibernation believe it or not to actually not do things but to plant seeds with this exciting energy take the time to uh, absorb all the fun and love from this connection don't go too fast take the time to save your finances and uh, plan in the right way where it's going to go uh, avoid temptations at all costs without proper planning with the uh, page of swords now why do i keep saying it's going to be so exciting other than all of the cards that clearly show exciting we're seeing the six of swords in the alice in wonderland scene here with um the knitting sheep i i, I think i said wolf lady or something <laughs> sorry about that you know the scene where there she goes into sleeping and this is where she's really dreaming and meets the knitting sheep and it goes from a shop then it goes into the boat and she's rowing row row your boat gently down the stream merrily 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 life is but a dream so we're seeing that you're living a wonderful dream almost to where you can't believe how this transition happened and this is what the six of swords is all about a transition that you just don't know how it happened how did you get 
That's why it's so exciting. How did you get into, into all of that? It's almost like a dream that you really wanted. And because it's such a beautiful dream, be careful not to uh, let it um, drag you. Always row your boat gently down the stream. Um, don't let it push you, let, don't let the streams push you left and right. Always be in control, uh, pile number one. Apologies, pile number one, I had to uh, charge my camera. Um, so, with this break that I took to charge, I would say this looks like to me for you, there's a message here of the second half of year 2022 being some sort of break, a real break for you uh, from reality. With the five of wands, I do see that you may be surrounded by people who are competitive, uh, uh, competing with you. They are causing trouble. Uh, they're just annoying. And I see this energy fading in the background, almost as if it doesn't matter at all, because there's so much excitement and beautiful energy happening all around you. Remember pile number two, that this is a season with the lily of the valley coming here. I do see that, yes, what you have in 2022, you will always keep, but it's a high. Um, life doesn't stay in a high, but it doesn't necessarily need to go into a low either. Just take the beauty of the high, make the best of it. You know, it's, that's why it's a seed season. Make the best of the season to plant beautiful plants so that when the seasons change, you have a beautiful crops to use. When highs, when high times come, it is our chance to prepare and to be fully equipped as we enjoy this time so that when times change, we are still very well padded and we may not even feel uh, the transition. So that's what I feel is going to happen. I feel like these people that are causing trouble here are really going to fade in the background. Uh, they won't matter to you at all in the second half of 2022. Will they matter later? Let me pick out a card and see more about that for you. Just want to say when I was picking up your deck, I saw the emperor down there. So instantly I get the idea that you will be in control. I think you'll be in a very good position, uh, pile number one, where uh, you're not going to be, they're not going to be able to play games with you anymore but let's see you okay death and rebirth the situation is completely changing and ending with these people so goodbye <laughs> goodbye goodbye <laughs> goodbye these people forget about this energy my dear pal number one it's done and over with you are it's like there's a rebirth of a, your new life goodbye to these people may you have a wonderful life in fact we have the Amazonite. It's kind of like it's your time for filtration of energy, uh, enjoying your life, ha feeling your best, right? But make sure that during your best, you take care of what's coming next, pile number one. So pile number one, that was your reading for the second half of year 2022. I hope you enjoyed. It's such beautiful energy. I, I want to keep it and reserve it like just the way it is for you. May you have a wonderful life, pile number one. This was your reading. If you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. Don't forget to click on your notification bell. And please don't forget to check out my productivity book, pile number one, if you're interested in being more productive. Um, whether you're starting from the beginning or you want to learn more hacks to becoming productive, uh, this book is small, straight to the point, and so you won't procrastinate or waste time reading it, but it has all the key advice and secrets to becoming a productive person right away, all while enjoying the process. And so if you're interested in that, and you find that interesting, this book truly keeps to its promise. Uh, you'll also see testimonials for this book, um, and I left a link for this ebook down in the description box. 
Uh, lately, I've also narrated it, so there's an audiobook for that as well. If you if you love audiobooks, <laughs> and pile number one, it was such a pleasure connecting with you and doing this reading for you. Wishing you the best from my heart to yours, and I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. You have chosen the beautiful lapis lazuli and, of course, the cornflower. So let's take a look at your cards and see the second half of the year 2022 predictions for you. We'll be starting off with your oracle cards first. So you have message in a bottle. Okay. You have... All is connected. Quite interesting. All right. You also have Mars in Taurus with defense. Okay. Quite interesting. Let's take a look at your <coughs> tarot cards first. So you have uh, the Four of Pentacles. You have the Queen of Pentacles, the uh, Justice card, okay. You have the Six of Cups, the Two of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and the lover's card. Hmm. And you have the seven of cups. What a beautiful seven of cups. All right. So what is going on here? Pile number two. So what I'm seeing here for you, for the, for the second half of the year 2022, it looks like to me with the Four of Pentacles that you may have been keeping to yourself for a long time. Maybe you stayed at home in specific for a long time, mainly due to um, the lockdown. And then you continued uh, staying alone. You could have been, uh, this could mean also that, uh, yeah, you were kind of keeping to yourself um, during the year or maybe even the last few years, pile number two. What I, you have been focusing, however, for a lot of you with the Queen of Pentacles, mainly on your career, on growing your career. And it looks like for a lot of you, you have been doing pretty good in terms of your progress. Now, what I'm seeing here in the second half, you are getting with the phone call and the message of a bot in, in a bottle. I feel like you're getting a surprise contact from someone to collaborate or get into partnership. Now, this could be partnership uh, in your business partnership, uh, in your work, meaning maybe you're going to change because I'm going to talk about changing directions in a second. Maybe you're changing directions, changing careers, um, going to a new job or getting an offer of love, whichever case it is, do know that you will be approached in 2022 by someone to somehow partner or collaborate. The reason for that is that you have the cornflower. We see that you stand out in one way or the other um, because the cornflowers they, with their beautiful blue petals, they really stand out amidst the field, the, the yellows and the green of the field. It's just a beautiful scene. And I find that you're getting a strong kind of offer. One, 
that will make you think a lot. With all is connected, I see that you're so hesitant with the two of pentacles and the two of wands and the justice. You're, this specific justice talking talks about making a choice. So there's a critical choice to be made in your year 2022, uh, where whichever you plant will be the direction of your life. Now, this is not something that you're complaining about at all. In fact, with the Seven of Cups, I feel, I feel like this is uh, some sort of dream that you wanted. But this dream will require some sort of strong decision. It is a significant decision because with all is connected, it's like it's going to change everything. One of these decisions is like moving to another place. Should I move or should I stay? Um, yeah, it could be a decision of moving, pile number two, and where you're thinking with the defense card here, I don't know about that. There's uh, so much to gain, but I might lose some things. I'm going to get your tarot cards in a second and see what you're worried about in terms of what you may lose and perhaps your advice from spirit. Should you go? Should you stay? And if you go, how can you make sure you don't lose what you're worried about, right? But until we get into that, we clearly see that you have to make a critical decision, one that you will not hate, one that you are super excited about. It's a dream come true for you, this type of partnership. You're so excited about it, but it's it's a bold move, you know? For someone who has been stable and grounded doing the same thing for a long time, this message or this news of partnering is um, is a decision that has so many things at stake connected together. It's a huge change, uh, as I'm seeing here, at pile number two. We do see you more inclined to one than the other, but you're not really sure here. Now, the Six of Cups shows me that, especially that it's in conjunction with the Seven of Cups, that it's one decision that you may, you may find very hard to <laughs> let go of because this is one that you've wanted for a long time. Now I'm quite curious for you, pal number two. I want to find out why. What is at stake here? Why is it so hard for you to take a decision? Can we, find, can we kindly find out, please? Why? Oh, thanks. Six of Pentacles. Why is it so hard? Maybe you are worried about disrupting your inflow of income. I see. Okay, so you're worried. You're, you want this so much. Perhaps it's a work partnership or maybe even a lover who wants you to go to another place and you're really worried about your job or your income. Well, I see your concern here, pile number two. Perhaps you're worried that this partnership, as much as you wanted it, uh, may not bring as much finances as you are doing on your own, or that this move with this person may not, may disrupt your business. Overall, uh, you are really thinking about this. Right, so, I'll get later on more information about this partnership, but for now, I want to find out more about what you can do to take care of your worry, since this is something you're dreaming about so much. So first, is pile number two advised to take this decision? Yes. With the hanged man, it's a shift in reality, the magician to go ahead with what you're dreaming of, with this magic that you're feeling, right? So let's find out in this case, how to take care of what you're worried about here. How can pile number two take care of what they're worried about with this decision, please?
So, Knight of Wands, Queen of Swords makes sense. <laughs> and Knight of Swords. Look, pile number two, your advice is very clear. You have three court cards with three distinct characteristics that you're being advised to do. You're being advised to move quickly with, um, with the transition, meaning that once you take the decision to make that move, the faster you act, the more it is uh, in your favor. So uh, take a look and plan at what is uh, at risk. Plan for it properly. Don't let, you, like the Queen of Swords here, don't let your emotions, there we go, uh, control you, but control your emotions by not letting it sway you and make you feel like, oh, that's so much work. How am I gonna do that? What if it doesn't work? Uh, right away when this starts happening move and spring into action with the knight of wands this is fa fast moving energy as well with passion so write down in a list all the things that will need you to take action on so that you take care of this transition beautifully and almost seamlessly and at the same time be uh, with the Knight of Swords, educate yourself, collect the information you need to uh, apply these changes quickly and in the right way, be informed, and at the same time with the Knight of Wands, get right into action. Start taking action step by step and you will see pile number two, what you were afraid of in the beginning is moving along swiftly and beautifully. Okay, so I had one last question for you here about your um about this decision which is let's get more information about what is this partnership going to be like um what actions are you going to take how is this decision going to feel like so yes let's get more information about this decision or this message this partnership can we kind of get more information about this partnership in uh, uh, pile number two's reading, please? Uh, with all connected, it seems like you're a l not, uh, not many aspects. All aspects of your life is changing because it's all connected. Once you make that decision, you're, uh, it's like an end of a chapter and a beginning of a new one. You're planting a new seed in your life. And that's why it's such a critical decision. But the more you plan for it well, the more you release this initial defense that you'll have towards it, despite the fact that this is truly your dream. Okay, so you have temperance, the page of pentacles, the eight of pentacles. For a lot of you, this has to do with your work, but not necessarily. Uh, you have the Queen of Wands. Yeah, didn't I tell you? You're standing out with the cornflower here. Ooh, the High Priestess. Can you see that? I'm sorry about that. There we go. And you have the Ten of Swords, which marks an end of a struggle. You're standing up straight in this specific Ten of Swords. So it's this decision or this partnership is coming at a time where you've ended m misery by yourself. You're, you're in fact standing up strong on your own two feet. Uh, I see the negative thoughts are now flying off and you're looking at a new horizon, uh, looking forward to a new life. You've done it all by yourself. Pile number two, whether this has to do with your work or personal life or anything really, you're now standing on your own two feet. With the High Priestess, I do see that you have ended one cycle of your spiritual journey and now you're ending into another, almost specifically what you're supposed to do. And it is a time of your life in the second half of 2022 where you're really shining, my dear Power number two. You're standing out, you're shining. Um, whereas perhaps in the past you were at home, you weren't seen. We can see that you're, 
that you really seen in the second half of 2022. You're dragging a lot of attention to you. Uh, you're looking attractive. You're looking vibrant. You're glowing. Uh, you're looking beautiful is what I want to say for sure. Um, yes, second half of 2022, you're glowing and you are looking beautiful with the temperance card. You're taking care of your health. You're coming into balance both energetically and physically. So the page of pentacles talks of an offer, obviously. For a lot of you, this offer has to do with work. But again, like I said, not necessarily. But for a lot of you, this could be work. Um, hello, we want to work with you. We have seen how you have been working on this for a long time or working on yourself. We see your skills. We acknowledge you. We want you with us. We want to create some partnership with you. We want to hire you. Or, hello, would you like to go out? All in all, I'm very interested in you. Whichever it is, yeah, I, I think I said it enough. <laughs> you really stand out and are unique. You understand your craft so well. Let me ask, how are these people or this person going to find out about you? Ooh, let's see. Ooh, nine of pentacles and nine of cups, my goodness. <laughs> What I can tell you is, yeah, first, before we get into that, you're really seen. So however these people are going to find you or this person is going to find you, you're shining so bright. You stand out. So you're seen. You're definitely seen. Uh, nine of cups and nine of pentacles, two cards in different ways show a dream coming true. This organization, this employer, this um, person who has, who has a liking for you, sees you as the ultimate person that they want. A true dream coming true. So pile number two, enjoy that in the second half of your re year. Enjoy that beautiful transition in your life. It looks like uh, it's something that you've wanted for a long time. Uh, perhaps you wanted it in the way it's going to be offered to you. Let's wait and see. May you have a wonderful year, pile number two. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. Don't forget to click on your notification bell so you are notified straight away when a video is uploaded. And please don't forget to check out my productivity book, pile number two. This book could really help you in becoming productive in general, perhaps during this transition time that's happening in your year to do it in even a fun way. This book is small, straight to the point, and so you won't procrastinate or waste time reading it, but it has all the key advice and secrets to becoming a productive person right away, all while enjoying this process. And so if you're interested in that, you'll find all the information you need about it in a link down in the description box. I've also recently just narrated it. So if you enjoy audiobooks, that's available as well. Pile number two, wishing you all the best of luck. Thank you for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number three. Welcome to your reading. You have chosen the beautiful tiger's eye as well as the belladonna. So let's take a look at your cards and see what the, your year is going to be like the second half of 2022. Uh, to do that, we are going to be starting off with your oracle cards. So you have a leg up. I love that. Let me adjust the camera so that you can see it. There we go. You have a leg up. Okay, 
You also have, can you hear me? Hmm. That looks like it's going to be a beautiful pile. Really? Okay. Uh, you also, ooh, I told you, <laughs> I told you pile number three. You have the sun in Leo with fortune. Beautiful card to come for a reading like that. So excited for you, pile number three. Let's keep it there. Right. So you have the knight of wands, shift of reality somehow. Okay. You have the king of wands. Looks like it's going to be a very exciting year for you. And I'm not surprised with this energy. If you've been watching the pile preparation process, uh, the, the cards that flew out for the general reading were both Sagittarius, they were enthusiasm and flirting. So we see exciting energy in the second half of 2022. Wow, you have the sun loving, loving your reading. Uh, pile number three. <laughs> You also have the Eight of Wands. You have the King of Pentacles. The Ace of Wands. The Three of Wands. You have the beautiful Four of Swords. Do I love this specific Four of Swords. So we see that for your pile with the Ace of Wands, there is a new beginning here in the second half of the year. It's like a shift of reality where you're, you're experiencing a different world in the second half. Uh, with this specific Four of Swords, I feel like it's this time in the universe of giving a break to you, of you finally resting, of you being financially well off, uh, of you, yeah, enjoying your time to a great extent with a lot of fortune coming in for you. Eight of Wands, um, this reality may have already started for you. This shift is happening. And it's kind of like um, a step uh, from your spirit guides from the universe, from God, from what what you believe in. This um, help in giving you a nice, kind, generous push so that you can continue on with your spiritual journey, with your new journey with the Three of Wands here, uh, pile number three. We do see Alice looking at the um, the chess court. So we're, we're seeing that you're looking at a, a totally new world, a totally new adventure, um, you're feeling powerful with the tiger's eye that you chose during your pile. So we're seeing a lot of strength, a lot of going to the beats of your own drums, uh, meaning doing what you want only, going towards the things that finally your heart desires, going towards exactly what feels like the light at the end of the tunnel for you, um, pile number three. An interesting surprise that I see for you in the second half of year 2022, pile number three. Let me tell you first what I see and then I'll tell you the surprise. So the Belladonna uh, is known to be, it is said that it's a plant so beloved by the devil that he only gives it to his strong allies because of its strong magical abilities. That's what it said. So it said about the Belladonna. <laughs> so what I see for you in 2022 is some sort of great benefit coming from someone or some people that you don't love or don't like. Um, could even be your um, enemies. But there's a very, there's a surprise of some huge benefit coming from these people that you just cannot expect it. And it's almost being taken from them when they don't want, but it is reality. It is what it is. Um, maybe it's coming by court. Maybe it's coming 
by uh, uh, some sort of offer coming from people from their side or a piece of information coming from their side, who knows. But what I can tell you is that you will be benefiting greatly off of someone who considers themselves an enemy of yours um, and uh, you'll be taking a great advantage and leaving them off. <laughs> Pile number three. What a surprise. I see you in uh, the second half of the year coming up with a brilliant idea and I see you strategically planning for the future and how you're going to make it work. Um, it's an idea that is really hyping you up, making your heart beat, and you're so adamant about making it work. And while there's money flowing to you in the second half of year 2022, I see that you're strategically thinking about how to make even more of that brilliant idea that you're planning for here. <laughs> What an exciting year, uh, pile number three. All in all, this year, this type of energy is moving in very quickly for you. With this leg up, I truly feel that it's your ancestors or your spirit guides that are really giving you this leg up, this push. Uh, they've been hearing your woes. They've been hearing your sadness, perhaps with the devil appearing in the Belladonna. They've been seeing unfairness happen to you. Um, maybe through the world or some people around you or the circumstances and they're really, really uh, helping you uh, take, uh, give you a, giving you a leg up to shift your reality in the second half of 2022. Yeah, let's get to find out more about what you're getting from this person or these people. <laughs> So what is pile number three getting, please? Seven of cups. That's some sort of dream. But with all of these cups covered, you're not meant to know <laughs> exactly what it is. But do know that there's some sort of dream coming true. Page of wands. A dream that you'll be very excited about. And seven of pentacles. Something that will help you grow even more. Let me take a closer look at that. This could be hidden information. Hidden money. You have been covered so that you're not seen and now someone's going to see you uh, opening up of some lies that they've done. Who knows? Something is being revealed through these people unknowingly that will set you free, that will make you very excited and happy and something, something that you're not just going to celebrate momentarily. Pile number three, this is something that will grow with you uh, and will stand the test of time. You're taking something to stay. Look forward to that. Pile number three looks so exciting. But overall, other than that, some of you could be parents and you will be enjoying time with your beloved child. It's going to be a beautiful year where you will watch them grow, where you're, where you're going to connect well with each other. Overall, I would say that the second half of the year is very positive, is very cheerful. It's a year where you are resting in peace, resting in luxury, uh, enjoying your time. It's a peaceful, quiet year where you're either enjoying your time, having fun, feeling like it's a great time of your life, or uh, as well as, I mean, either you're doing that or you are working on a project that you love. So you're moving between these two energies of resting and enjoying your, your year and um, going after a wonderful idea that you have. 
Um, overall, I don't know why. Perhaps you're a hardworking person. This is a year where you're reaping all the, the fruits of the hard labor you've been putting in. And you're getting a lot of fortune, a lot of finance that is keeping you comfortable at home. Uh, is, keep, is allowing you to do what you want. And that's probably why we have a shift in reality in really everything. Um, I see finances landing in, in your lap. Be careful. Um, pile number three. I do see a call for help here with can you hear me? Um, be careful with all of this fun. Maybe you don't leave out someone behind who needs your help in the second half of year 2022. This could be maybe a parent, a pet, a friend, or maybe your own uh, shadows or sadness, along with uh, all of that beautiful energy. Make sure that uh, with Can You Hear Me, you are heard when you need it. So um, it's like talking to someone. If you want to say something, say it. Uh, if you want to be communicating with a friend to talk about uh, what you need to talk about because what you have to say is important too. Uh, if you want to talk to a professional, whatever it is, if you're not feeling well about anything or if someone around you is not feeling well, just make sure that in the second half of 22, 2022 to be heard or to listen to the people and the animals or the plants maybe, who knows, or the finances or whatever needs your attention. With can you hear me, make sure that you don't give your back to whatever needs your attention while you rest in peace and work on what's important, uh, pile number three. I also see that in the second half, you are extremely well-dressed, looking fly, uh, looking attractive and um, stylish in specific. Uh, you're looking very put together, very clean, very, um, yeah, very beautiful, very handsome in the second half. So you're taking very good care of yourself. As you can see, can you hear me? Again, I'm, I'm inclined to tell you, take care of what needs your attention. Perhaps this is a child, maybe. I'm not sure. You will know whenever you feel like something needs your attention, uh, even though you are um, relaxed, make sure that you give this attention to um, what needs it. Also, give your back to those who want your attention for toxicity. That's another thing. So both, give your attention to what needs attention, give your back to toxicity and um, allies of uh, gossip and toxic behavior as well. There's a weird but very specific message. I'm seeing a lot of hair here, beautiful hair. <laughs> so for a lot of you, for some reason, your hair is growing beautifully. <laughs> Uh, this uh, half of this year so maybe you're taking good care of it or that yeah it's just gonna look really beautiful overall how you look like uh, is highlighted in your reading for the second half let's now take a look at this transition in your life I want to find out for you yeah how is this transition going to whoa enough said right <laughs> we don't even need more cards how is this transition gonna be like my dear friend pile number three all of your cards are showing ultimate happiness 10 is an excess of this energy you're going to be very a very happy person i'm wishing you all the best of luck my dear pile number one may you always be happy may you always be blessed and fortunate and living in the bright on the bright side of life so pile number three, that was your reading. Loving you so much. Sending you a hug. <laughs> so excited about your second half. May you have fun. If you've enjoyed this reading, please give me a thumbs up. 
subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. Don't forget to click on your notification bell so that you're notified when I upload a video right away. And please don't forget to check out my productivity book, pile number three. This book could really help you out with your journey of achieving your dreams and doing what you want when you want to do it. It's small, uh, straight to the point, and so you won't procrastinate or waste time reading it. But really, it has all the key advice and secrets to becoming a productive person right away all while enjoying this process. Pretty good deal, right? <laughs> if you're interested in that, you'll find a link to this ebook down in the description box. And recently, I've just narrated this book. So now there's an audiobook as well, if you enjoy that. And pile number three, it was such a pleasure doing this reading for you. Uh, I wish you a wonderful year and I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number four, welcome to your reading. You have chosen the beautiful moonstone. What a stone, as well as the willow card. I love the willow card, of course, it has so much wisdom in it, but let's take a look at how your second half of the year 2022 is going to be like. We'll be starting off with your oracle cards first. So, you have, whoa, straight away, <laughs> you have soulmates. So maybe this year you're spending time with your loved ones in general, or maybe you're finding the right person, or maybe it's a year where you're spending quality time with a key person in your life, um, like your partner, your husband or wife, um, a mother, a father, a best friend, your son or daughter, uh, or your child, uh, yeah, uh, someone key. You're spending time with someone key in your life and it's just beautiful. Okay, so let's take a look at the rest of your cards and see what your year is all about. We have protective nest. Talk about connections, right? Lovely, okay. You also have, oh. There's an egg here. Some of you could even be getting a child, planning for a child. Interesting. That's of course quite specific. Now you have Venus and Pisces with submission. Interesting pile so far. I feel like you might be changing locations because the the home of the bird, which is the cage, is now open, right? Who knows? Let's see. There's an airplane now. <laughs> Some of you can really be changing locations. You have the page of swords. I can't help but feel with this that a, a huge dream is coming true this second half. That's been pre very uh, predominant in today's reading. There's always one card or the other, not in all of the piles, I think it was two or three, where a, a dream, one dream is coming true. Okay, you have the King of Cups. Ooh, yes, the Ten of Swords. This is one of my very favorite Ten of Swords. You have the Three of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles. What a year, pile number four. So many things going on. <laughs> you have the Two of Cups. This is uncanny. For a lot of you, you might be finding your soulmate the second half of the year. You have, this has been coming strongly uh, in today's readings. Especially that while I was preparing the piles, uh, one of the cards that fell out, one was enthusiasm, the other one was flirtation, I think. So it's very dominant in this reading today. You have the Queen of Wands. Wow. That's the uh, Red Queen from Alice in Wonderland. You have the Hierophant. Oh, yes. The infamous caterpillar. 
where can we start? So straight away, pile number four in your pile. Life, uh, let me just begin to preface this quite clearly. Life was not easy on you um, in the last period of your life at all. You have been through it all. In fact, you've been through the dark night of the soul. You felt that things were attacking you from all directions. Perhaps sometimes you questioned whether you could survive this or not. But the beautiful thing about this specific Ten of Swords is that you see this figure from hitting rock bottom. And when you hit rock bottom, there's only one way. It, there's only one way to go and that's upwards. And you can see her or this figure using the same lessons, the same things that brought her down or, or brought them down to climb back up. So you've made great use of the challenges that life has hit you with and you can see that clearly with the caterpillar here in Alice in Wonderland with the Hierophant you've learned a lot you've gained a lot of wisdom <laughs> and um, it's now very hard do you see how the caterpillar was very nonchalant speaking to Alice and you see you have now become nonchalant to a great extent you've built thick skin uh, about what life can do you've learned so much it's like man you have such experience that no one really has with this amount of things happening in your life you're no longer taking in bad thoughts you're no longer being shocked you no longer stay a long time when you're hit you have such amazing experience it's unbelievable so we're seeing you in the second half of 20, 2022 uh, climbing uh, slowly but surely out of this uh, energy in the year the second half of 2022 there's uh, the opposite energy you're now we, we saw we took a glimpse uh, uh, at your past now let's take a look at how the year is looking like first you're climbing out of the things that are uh, hurting you and we see a lot of fun celebratory energy. You're connecting with people in the second half of 2022. You're having fun. You're creating a deep bond and a deep connection with someone. Perhaps even you'll be surprised that you'll be discussing a child at some point. And I'm not surprised that you have the willow. The beautiful thing about the willow is its wisdom or... Yeah, I, I, at least I see it as a wisdom in the analogy where the wind always moves it, but it never breaks because it's so flexible. It moves with the wind. And that's, I think, the wisdom that you've gotten here. You've learned so much from life. You've gained experience. And with the King of Cups, we see you coming into balance internally with yourself. You've become so balanced, almost uh, like... Um, a shining armor, a royal person. Yeah, you're shining a lot of uh, air of re regality. You're shining with regality this year, pile number four. You sound so educated. You sound so wise because of the experiences that you've been through. You've learned to submit whenever things hit you. And so they pass easily. <laughs> they do not. And that's one of your biggest lessons. You no longer fret and worry you have learned and understood the cycles of life and you whenever you've, you're hit by some sort of bad energy or challenge you just let it be and you climb out of it slowly and peacefully you're in command and in control of your destiny and of your life now pile number four especially with the energy of the second half of 2022 you're balanced you are uh, strong, you are vibrant, you are confident, you're displaying power and confidence along with regality and grace. Um, yes, and let's not uh, disregard this beautiful feminine energy here. Feminine energy when it comes to emotions and love and connecting with others. It's a busy time where you're being popular, shining, yeah? And connecting with others, making new friends that mean something to you. Um, getting closer to your loved ones and specifically a lover. P 
Pile number four. If you are single, you might even be talking or discussing a child. I know I said that a lot, but it's very evident. Now, here, you are starting something new, planting a seed in 2024. It's a very significant one. I want to find out for you what this is about. So, can we kindly get more information, please? Don't forget, it's like your dreams are... Ooh, what? What? <laughs> so, for a lot of you, uh, you're planting a seed towards love and a home in this area of your life, right? With the Eight of Swords, I feel like it, you were kept away from it or felt stuck with this for a long time. All right, so we see that. What I wanted to say here, yeah, there's a great focus on home, building a home, building children, creating children, or spending time with your beloved children and your husband or your wife. You know, it's when Alice finds out about the mushroom and she keeps it in her pocket and now she's in control of her size whenever she wants. It's not like life is controlling her, but rather she takes a bite and uh, increases in size or decreases and not letting life dictate that to her. So I see you're, this year you're being in command of your life, changing it in the direction that you want exactly. Well, what can I say? This is uncanny. Um, there seems to be a relationship happening in the second half of 2022. All right. So now let's get even more information about how the second half of your year is going to be like now that we have a great idea. So what is it like, please, for pile number four, the second half of the year? Can we kindly get more information, please? And I feel this one, gotta take it. All right, so pile number four. Let's take it in the order that it came out. You have the hanged man. We see a total change in your reality, pile number four there's a shift in your reality and this um, this energy has been coming strong very strongly in today's reading this shift in reality obviously i don't know i need to go and look at the planetary placements what's going on here but we see a, a great shift in realities we have temperance oops okay we have the page of cups feel like love here is in the air right all right you have the high priestess and the three of swords and wow you have the four of cups and the star notice that the star is lining up with the lovers uh, the key is the key to the heart so i think here you are finding a dream come true when it comes to a loving partner or someone that you love spending your time with okay so what also what is your year going to be like we see here highlighted is the high priestess and the three of swords in my opinion what i'm seeing here you know the high priestess she sits on the the edge of the of this realm and the next is able to illum illuminate from beyond the veil, right? So we see the remaining things that are causing some sort of ache. And the Three of Swords talk, talk speaks of mental ache. Uh, it speaks of being the torture of ourselves when we don't know. As you can see here clearly as well, depicted in this card, I'll adjust that. There we go. So. But sometimes, even though we know that, we, we can't help but feel this way, right? So we see here, in the second half of the year, the remaining things that are causing ache to you are now being healed fully. 
in, in, from an integral level, uh, I mean to say, not just from the outside world internally. And so I see here, this beyond the veils idea is that you're really supported by your spirit guides uh, to help you out greatly with this. They can see you suffering in one area. Uh, they hear your pains and they will really be there for you, making sure they empower you. They bring information down onto you that will be super beneficial and they will be helping you out completely, whether through your tarot readings or the tarot readings that you watch, whether through books that you read, whether through a meme or an uh, article that comes your way, who knows? Uh, you will have uh, critical information. I, I almost wanna say, I promise you here, <laughs> You're getting critical information. You're being assisted by your spirit guides. I, I cannot tell you how much I have a strong inkling about this. And that's why I'm really highlighting it. Um, not that it's uh, important. Of course, it's important. I mean, I have a strong feeling. That's why I'm telling you. I have a strong feeling about this part. You'll be greatly assisted to heal something remaining that is aching your heart and you're moving away from this energy. And this is why the second half of 2022 is going to be critical. Oh, yes. That's why we see balanced energy and confidence, vib strong, vi vibrant energy. Now I understand. So thank you so much for that, for giving us this information. I'm truly grateful, right? Uh, you're, you're, yeah, and from the Four of Cups, you went from perhaps being alone, not really finding the right person, not being satisfied in one way or the other. And, or maybe you already have a loved one, but they're not there and you're genuinely connecting beautifully with someone in the second half of 2022. Um, yeah, there's, there is an emphasis on love uh, being in the air of, uh, I, um manifesting what you you've dreamed of isn't this so sweet <laughs> pound number 4 we can see your whole reality shifting but overall it's shifting in a balanced beautiful way we see the moon and the sun again this um idea of things coming together maybe masculine and feminine energy getting together in general uh, the idea of partnership um pound number 4 And I guess this is what this healing is all about. That's been that we've been seeing from the hierophant here, not letting uh, the world either make you happy or sad. It's like you're getting the mushroom. You're getting one important or several important pieces of information that pertain to you exactly. That will be just like Alice kept in your pocket, and you will be able to use it whenever you need and you're standing there strong, it's like you found the secret of life, the holy, holy grail to how to manage your emotions beautifully, how to let it sail uh, in the right direction. Now you sail your emotions and it's not sailing you. Pile number four, I'm wishing you all the best of luck in this second half of the year. It looks like it's such beautiful energy. May you always be blessed. May you be safe and may you live in a beautiful, wonderful world. That was your reading pile number four. If you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. Don't forget to click on your notification bell so that you're notified right away when I upload if this is what you're interested in. And please, don't forget to check out my productivity book, pile number four. This book could really help you out in manifesting what you want um, by being productive. And, and it's short, straight to the point, and so you won't procrastinate or waste time reading it. But at the, but at the same time, it has all the key advice and secrets to becoming a productive person right away all while enjoying this process. If you find that you're, this is something that you're really interested in, you'll find a link to this ebook down in the description box. And I've just narrated an audiobook 
So that's another option. If this is what you enjoy, I know I love audiobooks. <laughs> so pile number four, thank you so much. This was your reading. Always love you. Wish you the best of luck in the world. And I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye.